Namaste and welcome to Yoga with Priyanka. Make yourself comfortable, gently close your eyes. I'd like to invite you to take a few deep grounding breaths. So breathing in through the nostrils and you can choose to breathe out from either the nostrils or your mouth. then returning your breath to a natural rhythm. Please give your breath a color. And giving your breath a color always helps visualize the breath flowing in and out during your yoga. And it helps you kind of go a little bit deeper into your practice. And it's also one way or another way to use your breath like an anchor point. To perhaps set your sankalpa or intention around this knowledge of how mountains are so important for us. So I'll just give you a few seconds to do that. Then when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes, roll over onto all fours. And we'll start with our cat and cow. So knees are apart, palms are flat. Exhale, round your back, inhale, open your chest. So exhale, rounding the back, releasing tension from your lower back. You can tuck your head in if you like. Notice whether you're locking your elbows. So keep them micro bent or soft. And just watching the pace of your breath as you move your body. When you're done with four or five, come into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, a little bit of slow pedaling. Again, remember to keep the elbows soft as you bend your knees. And then you can gently walk to the front of your mat. Notice where your feet are placed, how they're placed, and the weight that distributes under them. See if you can also tap into the sensation or the texture that you might be able to feel against the bottom of your feet. And then finally, bending your knees, let your arms, your neck, and your head hang. Unroll vertebrae by vertebrae.
Coming into your standing position. Again, noticing posture, your breathing. Then when you're ready, inhale, exhale, bring your palms together. Inhale, sweep your arms up to mountain. Lengthen. Stay here for a breath or two. Feeling into what mountain means and feels. And then on your next exhale, Fold forward into Uttanasana. Inhale to half forward fold, or the Uttanasana. Exhale to full forward fold. Inhale, take your right leg back to high lunge, left leg to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, slide into baby cobra, keeping your lower back safe and protected. On your next exhale, downward facing dog. And then we're going to inhale, step the right leg into crescent. Anjane Asan, lower your left knee, point the toes, sweep your arm up. On your next exhale, we're going to turn towards the right. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms down. Inhale, take your right leg back to plank. Exhale. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slide to cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. And then we're going to inhale, step your left leg into Anjane Asan. Sweep your arms up, hold for a breath. Make sure your knee is happy over here. And then on your next exhale, turn towards the left. Feel into your breath. Inhale back up to center, exhale down. Inhale, take your left back to plank. Exhale, drop. Inhale, cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Then we're going to inhale, step the right leg into warrior two. Virabhadasan. Keeping your drishti straight ahead, the gaze, eyes opened or closed. Feel your feet rooting or grounding into your mat. And then on your next exhale, rest your right hand on your right thigh. Bring your left parallel to your ear. Coming into Uttita Trikonasan. Extended triangle on your next inhale come back to virabhadasan warrior 
Then exhale to reverse warrior. You can wrap your arm around the small of your back or you can keep it on your left thigh. Arch as much as comfortably possible. Head and neck comfortable. Checking in with what or where you're looking. And then inhale back to warrior two. Exhale down to high lunge. Inhale, take your right back to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Stay here for a breath. Lift your chest up without putting weight on the bottom of your hands. Exhale to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Noticing what your gaze looks at. Is it the toes, the navel, the knees, the back of your mat, the floor? And then inhale, step your left leg into Virabhadasan warrior. Two, make sure that the right foot is flat at the back, that you're not on the edge of the foot, sinking into your hips, back is straight, chest is open, spine is lengthened. And then on your exhale, extended triangle, rest your left hand on your thigh, bring your right parallel to your ear. Make sure that you're not dropping into the chest, I mean the hip, sorry, or scrunching the chest up, but you're keeping everything lifted. Inhale to warrior two, exhale to reverse warrior. Notice that rise and where they arise, whether it's your legs, your arms, your And then inhale back to warrior two, exhale down to high lunge. Inhale, step your left to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slide to cobra. Staying in cobra. Transitioning or bringing in Shalabhasan locus. So whenever you're ready, lift your legs up on an inhale. Keep your palms on the mat without any weight. So this is really good for your lower back. And if you want, you can lift your arms up. Coming into full Shalabhasan. Then exhale back down. Take a breath or two over here. And then downward facing dog on your subsequent exhale. And then inhale, step your right leg into lizard. On the outside of the right foot, lower your left knee, bend your elbows. You can put a block under the left arm. Make sure that you're comfortable and nothing feels overstretched.
Notice if your mind wanders while you're holding lizard. And then on your next inhale, straighten your arms, take your right arm under your right thigh. So if you want to adjust your right foot, please do. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the right arm and you can see me wrapping it under. And the left will wrap around the waist from behind and bind. Right arm is under your thigh. The left is on top coming over your body towards the waist or the lower back region. And then we're going to release this coming back into a lizard stance. And then straighten your right foot. Take your right hand on the outside of your right leg. Just transitioning into a very gentle half monkey or the Hanuman Asan. Keeping the knees soft. And release. So inhale, bring your right leg back. Coming into a plank position, holding for one cycle of your breath. And then on your next exhale, lower your knees, chest, chin. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. And then we're going to inhale left leg into lizard. You can lower your right knee before or after. Bend your elbows. Place your block under the right elbow. Readjust so that everything feels comfortable, which is what asana translates into. And you can choose to pick an anchor point, which is either between your eyebrows, the Yajna Chakra, or focus on the breath flowing in and out, that colorful breath or focusing on the stretches, or focus on the breath in the belly, or on the upper lip. So you have a myriad of choices to pick from and play with them. On your next inhale, you're going to straighten the arms, readjust for the bind, taking the left arm underneath your thigh, and then bringing the right over, binding near your lower back or your hip or your waist. And if you can't bind, that's absolutely fine. Just opening the chest in this manner, it's enough to feel into the pose. And then we're going to release the bind. Okay. Bring your left hand on the outside of your left leg and just straighten your left leg. Keeping your knees soft, micro bend. Noticing your breathing. Does it change when you transition into a pose? And if so, how does it change? And 
then when you're ready, inhale, bring your left leg back into your cat and cow stance, readjust the palms so that you can come into plank for a breath and a half. And then on your next exhale, knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, slide into cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. And we're gonna inhale, step the right leg forward to end. Exhale, left forward. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to full forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up to mountain tadasan. Lengthen your spine. Stay here for a breath. You can either look up or straight ahead. And then we're going to exhale, fold forward again. Inhale to Ardha Uttanasana. Fingers on your shin, flat back. Exhale to full forward fold. Inhale, take your left leg to high lunge, right leg to plank. Exhale, drop, knee chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing dog again. And this time, we're going to inhale, take the left leg into three-legged dog. Open up the hip, feel the hamstring stretch, point the toe, rotate it if you want to give your ankle a little bit of a wake up call and then exhale into Kapotasan. Keep your head and chest lifted just for a breath and then fold forward on your exhale. Stretching your arms out or supporting your forehead. Taking a deep breath in and out if you want. Notice the length of your body stretched out on the mat and the points of contact where you can feel the skin against your mat, your skin against your clothes, and your skin against skin, so textures. On your next inhale, lift your head and chest up. Bringing your awareness to your heart center. Elbows soft. Readjust your left hand, circle your right and exhale into the variation of grabbing your leg at the back. See how much you are able to bend that leg, hook it into your elbow, breathe, and then readjust your head so that it's comfortable. Smile into your yoga. Releasing your leg at the back. Inhale back to center. Exhale. Left leg to downward facing dog. Slide into plank. Knees chest chin to the ground. Inhale cobra. 
Exhale, Adho Mukha Shwanasana. And then we're going to inhale right leg to Dhraipado Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Rotate the ankle. It will be very happy. And then exhale to Kapotasana. Opening the chest for a breath. Exhale, folding forward. can always wiggle a little bit so that your body can settle into the pose. And then I invite you to count four breaths as we hold this variation of pigeon. Notice if you rushed through the breath or were able to deepen your breathing. And on your next inhale, lift your head and chest up. Elbow soft, readjust your right hand, circling the left so that you can grab your left leg at the back as you bend your knee, hook in the foot to your elbow or wherever is most comfortable. On your next inhale, release your legs, swivel back to center. Exhale, right leg to downward facing dog. In. And then slide into plank, drop into knees, chest, chin. Inhale to cobra, exhale to downward facing dog. Follow your breath. And then we're going to end, inhale left to the front of your mat, exhale right. Staying here for a breath. Notice if you're back at the same point that you started or have you shifted to a different point. And then inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale to... Full Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep your arms up to mountain, lengthen. Staying in mountain, thinking of all that it represents. Bring your palms into prayer position in front of your heart, Anjali Mudra. Samasthiti palms by your side. Shake your body out. Lovely. Nice long vinyasa. <laughs> All right. So we'll do a little bit of balance. So whichever leg you like to start with, remember to try to flex the toes, separate them, and then roll them flat onto the mat, distributing the weight evenly. And then we'll just stick to a vrikshasan, tree, low, medium, high, or lotus, whatever works for you today. Find your drishti or your gaze. Palms into prayer position, Anjali Mudra for today.
If you feel like doing a different variation, you are more than welcome to do that. And release. Shake your legs out. Switch sides. Find your drishti or your gaze point. Back straight, chest open, knees soft. And if you like to count your breath. and see how that affects your practice or balance. release shake your legs out and then i'd like to invite you to do malasan garland making sure that your knees and your ankles are happy to do this skip it if it doesn't work for you so your feet are going to be wide apart in a three and a half or a four foot stance if you're taller maybe a little wider and then what you're going to do is you're going to just bend your knees coming down into a squat the feet will be at an angle, so they won't be parallel to your mat, but they'll be off slightly to the corners or towards the corners of your mat. Using your elbows, you can press them into the calf muscles. And then just breathe into Malasan, the garland pose. And relax. So allow your sit bones to fully rest on the mat. Stretch your legs out. Then I'd like to invite you to do Paschimottanasana. So I'm going to just turn to the side. So legs are straight, knees are soft, sit bones are flat on the mat. Inhale, lengthen, sweep your arms up. And then exhale, fold forward, hook your fingers either into your toes, you can bind or you can place your hands on your ankles. Do whatever works for you. But remember to keep your elbows bent so that your shoulders relax. Notice if you're rounding your back. Try to hinge into your forward fold from the lowest part of your body rather than rounding the back. Observe the breath flowing in and out of your body. Again, that colorful breath that we gave at the start of the session. Notice whether you can feel the right side or the left side of your body. How do they feel against the mat?
And then we're going to release this. So on your next inhale, sweep your arms back up. Exhale, place your hand next to your body. And then I'm going to invite you to just lie down on your back. And we'll do the counter pose in the form of Setu Bandhasan bridge. So chin tucked in, feet are flat on your mat. Palms can be next to your body to start with. When you're ready, inhale, lift your hips up. Press the feet in, keeping your legs open hip width. And then once you feel like you've settled into bridge, you can lift your arms up over your head. You can also bring them off to the sides. Take a second to think of something that you'd like to release or let go from your life. And visualize it just participating into the atmosphere on each exhalation for the next three breaths. On your fourth exhale, slowly lower yourself vertebrae by vertebrae back down. Relaxing in Shavasana corpse pose, bringing your arms next to your body. Making any final adjustments. And if you want to roll your head from left to right, releasing tension from the head and neck, please do. Coming into final relaxation. So either you can repeat what I say in your mind or just listen to the sound of my voice. I relax my toes, my legs, and my hips. My toes, legs, and hips are relaxed. I relax my stomach, my chest, and my shoulders. My stomach, chest, and shoulders are relaxed. I relax my arms, my elbows, and my wrists. My arms, elbows, and wrists are relaxed. I relax my neck, my jaw, and my eyes. My neck, jaw, and eyes are relaxed. I relax my liver, my lungs, and my heart. My liver, lungs, and heart are relaxed. I relax my entire body, breathing, and my thoughts. my body, breathing, 
and thoughts are relaxed. Inhale deeply. Gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bringing the energy and the awareness to your body. Interlock your fingers behind your head. Give yourself a lovely stretch. Then you can roll over to your right for a few seconds and or come to a cross-legged seated position, keeping your eyes Closed if possible. Noticing how your body feels. And then please gently rub your palms together, making them nice and warm. Cupping them over your eyes. Thanking your body for today's practice. Namaste. Namaste.